Here we are working in the studio in the middle of a song. Now, we got the Galaxy S7 Edge here right now. Let me unlock this thing. Now, running regular TouchWiz. I'm themed, sorry I used the theme. Everything's kind of a little different color and uh, different accents and everything, but nobody cares. Anyways, you know, customized my little edge and all that good stuff. Now, what I'm getting at here is there's a new app out called Good Luck, if I'm not mistaken, it's called. So I'm going to go into my file manager. I already downloaded it, so I already got the file. Good lock, sorry, good lock. This app right, right there, okay? It's made by Samsung. Made by Samsung. So, do you wanna install this update? Sure, it's gonna, look, system UI. So this is changing the system UI. Now, it's supposed to be just a lock screen, but in my opinion, yep, the device will restart you have no choice you just updated the system UI using this method so click OK and this beast is gonna do what it needs to do we're gonna give it a second shouldn't take too long we are dealing with the Galaxy S7 Edge as you can see right in front of you running the latest 6.0.1 marshmallow and I'm recording on my Galaxy Note 4, which is still running on Lollipop. Let's hope this baby gets updated soon. Supposedly, it's got some of the Note 5 features coming to the Note 4. We shall see. Boom. Now you are presented with a little intro. Good luck. Breathe the smart life into your Galaxy. Let's click that start button. Widgets. You can place a widget that you frequently use. Hidden widgets list is appeared when you drag down the area oh, sorry about that phone went to sleep okay yeah got that now notification list is open when you drag down in the area you see more information you can drag up from your little quick toggles here on your lock screen pretty good you can customize that too so don't hate on that now I'm themed, so that's why my icons look like that, right? That's for my theme, the theme store from Samsung themselves. But as for my lock screen wallpaper, this is my new wallpaper. And as you can see, this is my notification. Boom. It's still giving me an intro, let all my stuff mount. I'm using folder mount so I can put all my app data on my external SD card and then trick the phone into thinking it's on internal. And this is just an example notification management. You can watch all notifications and all. Uh, you can swipe right to move your notifications to keep, which is this little section here. It's basically like putting your notifications on the back burner so you can check them over later instead of just dismissing them completely. It's pretty interesting. It's good. Um, yeah. And then you also got notification management if you tap and hold on them. And either set category, block notification, notify later, which is pretty interesting. All right, all right, all right, let me go back. Now, uh, let me unlock this thing real quick. First time you turn your phone on, you always got to do it with the code. So here you go. Um, you can add widgets. So let's, let's see a widget. Let's get this thing going. Um, I don't know. Let's try that. Boom. Just like that. Hey, look, it's me. If you want to find my music, look on Apple, iTunes, all that good stuff, even on Spotify if you want. Let's just add another one. Let's add Spotify for the sake of doing it. Uh, where is this bad boy? Da, 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 da. It should be here. There it is. There. Now I got both of them on there. You see that? And you can rearrange them. Anywhere you want. You can add other ones. Um, tap on one, go right into the phone. You also have on your lock screen, you have the, these little shortcuts here, and you can tap, and you got even more of them. So it's pretty interesting. You could tap one of these, say my. Now nah, I won't go to camera, let's say photos. Or no, I gotta. Sorry, drag it up. 
grab this photos, drag it up, hold my finger, and boom, right into the photos. Good to go. Now, another thing I noticed. Ooh, your recent applications have changed. Almost reminds me of stock Android in certain ways of what they've done with certain things. Recent application list, you can see all your recently used applications. You got your shortcuts down here in your recent, in your multitasking, so it's crazy. Then you got here for your split window, all that good stuff. So it's like I got, let's show this again. So I'm going into my multitasking, and this is what it looks like. It's like I can tap here. I got all these quick little settings in my multitasker. I can edit these too if I were to hold one of these. Um, no, sorry, that's not what I meant to do. Holding them does that, sorry. Uh, let's close this bad boy. Um, yeah, I was trying to show you how to edit them. Yeah, so you tap that. There's an edit button right here. You can drag and drop wherever you want. Reorganize that to your preference. The camera up here or something like that. Um, yeah. Bring the calculator. Good to go. All right, push done. Now it's all down there. Boom. Click one of these. I'm in the YouTube app. Click again. I'm going to go here. You know what I mean? I'm just back and forth between things. And then even the notification. Look at this. Now they're giving me an intro to this. Notifications. You can watch all notifications and all. Swipe right to put them in keep. Press and hold notification for extra options. Look at this, it groups them together. Everything. Like, that's just crazy. And it's like, okay, I got a notification here, so I want to read that later. It's going to give me the warning, telling me what I just did. Okay, I'm good. I know what I did. And it's like, eh, yeah, I'll keep that one too, right? And I just wanted to clear my notification. I don't want to see the icon, but it's like, you know what? I want to see it again. I want to read it see what it was telling me and it's like just click one of those and boom I'm in the app you know and then go back to keeping it still there so if I if I want it for reference later if I want to get rid of it it's gonna let me know what I just did for the first time do not show again so next time I do it, look got so overall I gotta say it's like it's like touch was revamped I don't know how to say but there are a couple of quirks like you know these icons here I can't just swipe them away which i think they should add that you know or maybe even give a miniature preview because people like to see a live view of things so you know to get rid of something i'd have to click the little x button if i want to open and split view i can do that and i get offered all my other stuff so things have changed in a way that you know it can be good for some might not be for others but for me no it's pretty good i think as time continues it's gonna get better right now to customize it like it's eh, not as good as it could be need some more options these are some of the options you got right here um routines it's gonna tell you routines based on like location and time by using location you can use rotate more accurate will use your location blah 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 no i don't want to do that see there is a bug right now i start using this and start theming things like change the clock here you got all these different clocks here you know for your lock screen here that's pretty cool but um so if i were to do that then it's like you can add some icons or whatever and then you got different colors for your theme which would change things around a little bit when it comes to the lock screen and everything right but the thing i noticed is you even got these you can customize your widgets and everything like that but I noticed when I actually save it, when I get to save and I finish, I go to my lock screen, it keeps asking me for the location. Seems like it's a little bug, <clears throat> which forces you into putting your location service on just to use it all the time. So I really just keep it stock for now. I don't really change too much except for the widgets and stuff like that. See the access to widgets because I'm locked. When you do the customize um, with good luck, you can actually, sorry, where did I put it? It's down here. Good. You can actually make it so that your widgets, yeah, your widgets are accessible even when it's locked. They have this little tab here, so that's that's interesting. But 
yeah I don't have it set because as I stated it's gonna make it so that my location services start getting this pop-up and everything I'm not gonna do it now now if you want to go back to stock in the end of it all um, sorry there's so much to say so it's hard to get it all out right now but if you want to go back to your regular touch whiz and you're worried that you might screw something up or blah 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 or you just don't like it just go into the app itself good luck made by Samsung click it click that uninstall button and do it so reboot the phone your system UI will be back to what it was as for now I like the direction that Samsung's going with this it just needs some touch-ups like I said you know, little things being able to remove this even the notification drop look at this that reminds me of stock touch whiz right there or um stock Android my bad but it's getting there it's getting closer like look at that it's like running it's like I'm running CM 13 or something but anyways this is what it is and I hope you enjoy got it here I wanted to make a quick demonstration for people who might be a little sketchy not want to give it a try or anything I'll have a link to the good lock by Samsung in the description as you're able to get it in the Samsung store in the Galaxy apps if you're in the US if you're outside the US then you're gonna have to use an alternative method which is gonna be the link I'm gonna give you you're gonna have to install the app and you'll be good to go hope you enjoy take care